Okay, so we're talking about inclined planes now. Uh, you've done inclined planes before, so we're going to jump straight into it and not talk too much about it. Let's interpret this question. Um, a body of mass 20 kilograms is placed on a smooth plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So I have uh, the floor. I have a smooth plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. That's 30 degrees there. And I have a body sitting on it. Let's just make it a box. And we know that that body is uh, 20 kilos. All right, a string is attached to a point further up the plane, which prevents the body from moving. All right, string. Find the tension in the string, so we need the tension there, and the magnitude of the force exerted on the body by the plane. All right, so you need to draw sort of your uh, force diagram here. You're going to have gravity move working down on the object, uh, and you're going to have a normal contact force perpendicular to the plane. And you should remember from last time we did this that a real good idea, a real trick to this, uh, that's bad, try again. A real trick to this is understanding that you're going to be better off if you make your I and J components parallel and perpendicular to the inclined plane itself. Because this object isn't moving, that means the three forces uh, down the tension in the string and the normal contact force can be drawn in a, a force or a triangle, a triangle of forces. So we have one straight down, which is 20 kilograms weight. Uh, we have the normal contact force. Uh, let's think about that. Nor I'll just draw it as a, it's going to be easier if it's not an arrow. Oh, oh. All right, 20 kilos. Um, now we've got our normal contact force. Now think about uh, what's happening there. It's a right angle to that. Uh, that's... 30 degrees there, that's 60 degrees there, which makes that 30 degrees there. So I can draw that like that, 30 degrees, and uh, this angle here. And again, think about, so that's, this is the string there. So I'll call that N for the normal contact force, T for the tension in the string. Uh, and now I just need to like come up with all of these other angles. So tension in the string, uh, that angle there is going to be 60 degrees. So about 60, 30, so that must be 90 degrees there. All right, so uh, it's pretty straightforward from there. Because what I have is a, a right angle triangle, you can see that right angle in there. If I want to know this um, weight, I can just do like a trigonometric ratio. If I want to know the normal contact force, I can just do a trigonometric ratio as well. So the tension in the string, uh, it's going to be 20 times sine, which is uh, 20 times 1 half, which is 10 kilograms weight. That's the tension in the string. And we can do a something similar here with the normal contact force. That's going to be 20 uh, times cos 30. Uh, which will be uh, root 3 on 2, so 20 times root 3 on 2, which is 10 root 3 kilogram weight. All right, so there's our inclined plane. Really the challenge is in drawing that thing and then moving forward from there.